<laughs> ranks. So former uh, White House Press Secretary Ari Fleischer had something to say about the calls for media growing tougher. Watch mm -hmm. this. I think the problem began when Barack Obama was a candidate, and if you remember Saturday Night Live in 2007, pilloried Obama's and the media for the, putting a pillow underneath Barack Obama instead of covering him. And frankly, the coverage for eight years was soft. And now, all of a sudden, because of Donald Trump, they want to change their tune. They should have been like this all along. Megan? Yeah, I mean, I uh, to completely echo what he said. I think we've been saying this on the couch all uh, last week and this week. Uh, the the press corps has has 100% been soft on this administration. I think historically we will look back at this time, and I said borderline propaganda came out of the majority of the liberal press corps. Now they choose to be hard hitting journalists because someone they ideologically disagree with is in office. Yeah, I see it as a little bit hypocritical. But that being said, I think anyone who is going to put any president or government officials' feet to the fire and call out hypocrisy will be a nice Change. It didn't ha help to have an advisor to the White House, Ben Rhodes, tell us that there were friendly media people that he knew where they could right. get out a narrative. He was he was boasting about that. And then when he got called to Capitol Hill, he was not available to go testify about that very thing. Yeah, I don't think any of this is really a secret, but I mean, it's going to be interesting to see how things change. I mean, you were just looking back at the White House press briefings and saying, these aren't really being held in the capacity in which they were meant for. And that is about to change under the incoming administration, the way those will look. Well, we're getting ready to find out. We'll see. Um, Sean Spicer has said many times that he plans to change things up a little bit. And, and there's going to be a fight. Look, um, there was some excellent journalism done in the Obama era. Uh, overall, the tone and tenor was very flattering. Uh, he got more favorable coverage than any president in recent memory. And and his departure, the, the writing about his departure, uh, Todd Purdom in Vanity Fair, uh, Obama belongs to the <laughs> ages, he writes today. And it has been fawning in a way that if uh, they had written about George W. Bush, let's say, people would have said, are you high? Like, what are you talking about? Um, Democrats are love him, and reporters tend to be more likely to be Democrats than Republicans, so I get all that. But I will say this. If they want to take the White House press corps out of the White House, they're going to have a fight on their hands. Mm. That is a 100% fight. Donald Trump hates the media, stipulated. Uh, many in the media hate Donald Trump, stipulated. Uh, this is not the first time that we've seen this. Uh, we've seen the Nixon administration. We've seen it other administrations, this sort of fight. It's going to come to a head. But if they try to kick the White House press corps out of the White House that's been there for generations, Good luck. Yeah, and it's less about, I would think, Ebony, just from kind of a legal standpoint, less about traditionality and more about really what we've been called to do as journalists per the Constitution. No, that's completely true. And when we talk about free press, I mean, I, I don't know about you Access. guys, but I've been hearing this. Yes, like, where, where are we headed in terms of the true freedom of our press and, and where, where it's going to go and what it's going to look like under uh, President Trump's administration? I agree with uh, exactly what Chris is saying. I mean, you, you cannot deny that access. It, it has to be there. We can argue. And look, I don't disagree. I think that the press has been very flattering to President Obama. I contest it's more than just ideological. I think there's something deeper there. I think they probably wouldn't have been as flattering to a Hillary Clinton as they were to even Barack Obama. So hmm. I don't think it's just For partisanship. Sure. sure. Uh, I think there was something that uh, it was kind of lightning in a glass bottle for Barack Obama for many of these young aspirational types. Um, but anyways, back to Trump. Yeah, it, they're going to have to figure that out, what that relationship is going to look like in a way that serves the American people, perhaps. Perhaps it's a return to more fairness and objectivity with journalism, uh, but it's going to have to remain intact to some degree. The only conversation I've had recently where the words fat sloppy kiss did not come up. <laughs> 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 and I'll move on.